everyone, this is Hugo from Ichiban Painting and today is a little pro tip. Uh, so, you're wondering what is this little bubble right there which super a lot of reflection from my lighting. Uh, this is an ultrasonic cleaner for those of you that did not guess. And how do you use an ultrasonic in the world of hobbying? It's really easy to clean up your tool, most, special, uh, most specifically if you're using airbrush to clean up your airbrush. This is a magical 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 too okay um, so basically uh, how does the ultrasonic cleaner work basically you have a cleaning agent that you put inside and when you start the ultrasonic cleaner like so uh, you can hear it right now it creates some kind of uh, some ultrasonic pulsions as you can probably see it in the water a little bit right now I'm not shaking nothing I'm just doing it by itself so these vibration will go attack the leftover paint that's inside your airbrush and will actually break it apart and take it out. Um, how can you put your airbrush into it? Basically, as you can see right now, I have a harder and steam back evolution. It's all taken into pieces. Uh, the only thing I will not put inside the ultrasonic cleaner normally when I clean my airbrush I don't put the valve assembly, which is the little piece here where your air comes from and then goes into the airbrush. I don't put the valve in there and that's pretty much it. Uh, I take off the nozzle seal and that's pretty much the only seal that I take off. Everything else, the seal and the o-ring stays on there and I put them into the airbrush, uh, into the ultrasonic cleaner. Solution that you can put in your ultrasonic cleaner, you can either buy some ultrasonic cleaner uh, that's pre-available when in shops where you can buy an ultrasonic cleaner or on eBay and things like that or you can put Windex uh, basically it's both the same it's a, a, a ammoniac based solution um, normally you dilute it to a two to one so normally I would take uh, you know one part of a cleaner and two parts of water and then after that put my things inside it uh, an ultrasonic cleaner you can find it in some hobby shops uh, jewelry shops and also on eBay it retails normally around twenty five dollars to uh, uh, not twenty five dollars twenty five pounds to you know uh, fifty pounds depending on the models and the size and everything you don't need something too big uh, as long as it, it fits your airbrush or other tools you would want to put in it. Uh, I would only suggest that you take an ultrasonic cleaner that has a, a self timer in it. This one has a self timer for 5 minutes. When I put my airbrush inside there, I leave them for 10 minutes, so I do 2 cycles. Then after that, once I take all my parts out of there, I go to the sink, I rinse all my part, and then I clean all my part with a clean towel and leave them dry overnight. You don't want to do this when you're going to be using your airbrush, especially if you put your main body, because there's going to be some water here in this portion of the assembly, which is actually very bad. And when you're going to put back your trigger, uh, not your trigger, but your valve assembly, you're going to have moisture in there, which will fuck your uh, mix uh, your paint ratio and your airflow going into your airbrush. So basically that's pretty much it. Uh, this airbrush uh, is already clean. I just finished the cycle but when I was finishing it I thought I should share this video with you. But I normally do the cleaning of the uh, all the parts every week. After a heavy day of use I will clean only my nozzle and my nozzle tip into this uh, <clears throat> on mostly a daily base but a weekly base I will do the cleaning of my airbrush but I'm an heavy airbrush user uh, so today it was bath time for both of my airbrushes um, now I, I only clean my evolution right now and my uh, but basically I clean my evolution and my infinity and I can show you if I take this off now if you guys can see hold on I don't know if you can see all the residue inside here I mean maybe it's a little bit hard to see but all the stuff that you see inside there basically this is a stainless steel cup and it's always clean before I start making everything so all that is paint residue for only one week and if you know me guys I'm an extremely uh, freak when it comes down to my airbrush I clean them extremely thoroughly so basically here you have it. It gives you a good idea of all the junk and gunk that you can get in areas that normally you wouldn't be able to clean. And even if you would want to take your airbrush all apart like this right now and go with a Q-tip or a tube brush and try to take it out, paint won't stick out. But the uh, ultrasonic cleaner will take uh, take uh, care of it. I'll f for you guys. I'll put everything. So basically, it's that simple. I'll give it. I'll give this bad boy one more soak. 
it's not gonna damage anything uh, I've been doing this for a while and I you know for those of you who are maybe worried about the harder and steam bag uh, seals it doesn't matter they work perfectly and here you go you leave it soak for a couple of hours uh, for, for one cycle or two cycle depending on how you like it this is my own uh, homemade recipe for my ultrasonic cleaner and then after that don't forget to rinse your part you don't want to leave that cleaner residue although it's the same thing that most or a lot of the airbrush cleaners uh, are made you could you could spray this in the airbrush as an airbrush cleaner and it would still work so basically this was Hugo from Ichiban Painting and I hope that you enjoyed this video and it can help you uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the video if you're not a subscriber yet and I'll see you on the next video guys cheers for watching